right, you guys, let's talk about how to cut out some backgrounds here in Photoshop. Go ahead and jump into the Photo 1, 2 folder, or the Photo 3, 4 folder, wherever, whatever class you're in. And we're looking for a folder called Remove Background Practice. I want you to right click on that, hit a copy, and then go into your own personal folder, wherever that might be. And we're going to just right click and choose Paste to paste that folder in there. Once you've done that, you should have these two files in here, a picture of a tiger and a picture of this teenage boy. Uh, then we're going to remove the background from both of these photos. Let's start with the harder one. Let's start with the tiger. So I've got Photoshop open here in the background. All I'm going to do is drag this tiger into Photoshop. You can also go to File, Open, however you want to get there. Get that photo open in Photoshop. All right. We want to start with our object selection tool, and that's this tool right here on the toolbar. It's the object selection tool. You might be on one of the other ones, so just make sure you're on this one. Keyboard shortcut is W. You can always right click on it to get it to expand out to see your other options. Let's also come up here to the top of our screen to make, just to make sure we're all working on the same screens. Let's go to Window, Workspace. Make sure you're on Essentials. And if you are, go ahead and hit Reset Essentials, and that's going to reset everything back to default, just in case everything's all messed up. Okay, with our object selection tool, we have two options. We can either put our cursor over our tiger, and you can see Photoshop right away is giving me a blue preview of what it's going to select if I click right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to click on my mouse, and Photoshop's going to analyze this dude. And it actually gave me a pretty solid selection. You can see it included a little too much right there. It got a little confused. Not a problem. I'm going to undo this. I'm going to Command D to deselect, to get rid of a selection, Command D. And this time I'm going to press Select Subject and see if Photoshop doesn't give me a better selection. And you see it did a better job on the ear, but it did a worse job on the tail and it did a worse job on the tiger's stomach. So I'm going to Command D one more time and I'm just going to click on the tiger to select it. Now, what do I do about this right here? Well, that's actually pretty simple. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to hold down the Option key. Hold down Option and then look up here at the top of your screen right here. You have a mode that's lasso or rectangle. It doesn't really matter which one you're on. If I'm on rectangle and I hold down option, I'll just click and drag a rectangle like this. And this is going to tell Photoshop to analyze this area and if possible, remove any extra selection. So watch this. I let go and look at that. It analyzed the area. It saw that I probably should have removed that and it also fixed right there. Look at that. There was before. And here's what that would look like if you were on lasso. So same thing, hold down option. But with lasso, you just click and draw. Honestly, you guys, sometimes I use rectangle and sometimes I use lasso. It just kind of depends on which one is better for the photo I'm working on. Both of them worked in this situation. So that was holding down option and that was telling Photoshop to remove things from the selection. Let me go a little bit extreme here and do this. And of course, that's not going to work. So let's try something a little more extreme. Here I'm option deselecting. There you go. Now I've lost a lot of the ear. What if I want to add to the selection? Well, in that case, I hold down shift. See that little plus sign that showed up next to my cursor? And now I'm telling Photoshop, hey, analyze this area right here and consider adding something. And there you go. It added the ear back in there. So I'm just going to zoom in here. And I'm just doing this by scrolling on my mouse. If you haven't set up the fancy settings, you do have to hold down Option and scroll. And I'm just going to pan around. I'm not going to worry about the whiskers right now. I'm holding down the space bar, and that's how I'm just panning around my image. And I'm looking, do I have a good selection everywhere? Do I have a pretty tight selection? Like there's a little spot right there. Like, let's get rid of that. Hold down Option. I'm on lasso, so I'm just going to draw a lasso around it like that. There you go, that cleaned that up a little bit. Let me zoom back out just a touch. And again, just going to continue to scroll around the tiger and see if there's anything I need to fix. We always want to have the best selection possible before we go into Select and Mask. So let me say that again. You want the best selection possible before we go on to our next step. So take the time to make sure you've got a good, clean selection here. And we do. So now let's go up to Select and Mask. This is going to put us into a whole new workspace with all kinds of new options. Let's go over some of them real quick. We have our toolbar over here. We're going to use this brush right here, the Refine Edge Brush Tool. And we're also going to use the Brush Tool. We're not really going to use any other ones. 
Then along the top, we've got, excuse me, we don't, we're not really also going to use either of these buttons as well. We've already done select subject, and refine hair doesn't really work very well, so I'm going to ignore that for now. Then over here on the bun on the right hand side we've got a bunch of options and we're going to use a handful of these we're going to use this show edge button we're going to change the view several times we're going to adjust the radius and we're going to come out down here and expand output settings so that we can see these options down here so those are all of the things we're going to do let's start with this one right here this show edge actually let's start with view uh, by default, you'll be on onion skin, and this is a good one to be on because it allows you to see your subject and still see your background as well. And you can play around with the transparency here. The higher the transparency is, the less you can see of the subject, or excuse me, the background. The lower the transparency is, the more you can see of the background. By default, it'll be at about 50%, and I like this. This is going to come in handy later on. So let's leave it right around 50% for now. You see, we have several other views. I also really like this one right here, black and white. This gives us a really detailed view. And this shows me that I'm missing part of the tiger right there and right there. And those are things I didn't notice when I was in onion skin. So we'll switch around to a lot of these later on. So just be prepared for that. Okay, let's check show edge. And you can see my whole thing fades out. And show edge is going to show the edge of what Photoshop is going to try to improve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab this radius slider and I'm going to bring this up and you'll start to see an edge up here. And what we want is for this edge, this highlight right here, to be about as wide as the edge that we want Photoshop to analyze. Meaning if I leave it real small like this, you can see it's missing a lot of the tiger's outer hair. If I make it too big like this, it's analyzing way too much. So I want to find a gap. I want to find this gap right here to be just about right where it includes a good chunk of the tiger's hair, but also includes, doesn't include any more than we need to. So for this image, I think ideal is somewhere around 10 to 15 right there for pixels right there in the radius box. That gives me a nice uh, wide gap that analyzes lots of hair, but doesn't include too much. So I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to turn show edge off. And basically what's happening now is Photoshop is analyzing everything inside this area, trying to make the best edge possible. But we don't want that show edge turned on because I can't really tell what's happening when it is. Next up, we're going to just ignore this side. We're going to come back over to this side, and this time we're going to grab the Refine Edge Brush Tool. That's keyboard shortcut R. And what we are looking for now is any areas where Photoshop needs a little help, where we can say, hey, you should probably take a closer look at this area. Like, all here along his back looks pretty good. But like right here on these back legs, there's a little bit extra that we don't want. So I'm going to come in here, maybe just hit up that area right there. And then, listen, you guys, make this refined edge brush as small as it can be. Now, I don't want to see anybody using a big old brush like this to do refined edge. You want it to be small. And don't forget, by the way, to do this, I'm doing control option left click and dragging left or right. So control option left click. Hold all three of those down and drag left to right. I'm going to make this brush pretty small here. And I'm just going to come drag along his back leg. And this is our way of telling Photoshop, hey, take a little bit closer look at this area and see if you can't tighten this up and make it look a little bit better. But, but just by doing the radius, we've really cleaned up a lot. But look at this inner leg, too. This right here could use a little help. So let's just do a little click and drag on here. Just a little quick swoop to clean that up. And that's looking much, much better. Got a little green right there in that little pocket. Let's refine edge that. Now, we're going to refine edge the tummy because you see we got a lot of green along the edge here. And we got a lot of softer hair down here. So I'm going to just do kind of do short little clicks. Don't try to do it all in one. And this area right here is problematic. You can see, no matter what I do here, I just end up with a big green section there. I'm going to come back to that later. So I'm just going to keep refine edging along the stomach. And it does look a little bit strange when we're super zoomed in like this because we're real close. But it'll look better when we're all done. So it's looking great, except for that part. But we'll come back to that. I'm going to get this back leg here a little bit, zoom in there. Clean this up just a touch. And just anywhere you see trouble, I want you to use Refine Edge. Look at here on the front leg. There's a little bit more green there. Let's get rid of that and clean that up. And then right here, we've got a troublesome patch right here. You can see no matter how much Refine Edge I do on this spot right there, I just get that little weird green blur. So let's fix that later. But let's keep going with Refine Edge. Let's come up here and look at all these little hairs on the chin here. None of these are selected yet. So 
I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Control, Option, left click, and just come in here and start painting in these little whiskers on the chin. There's really no substitute here, guys. you got to just take the time to do it. Don't try to do all of these with one huge brush. You're just going to make a mess of things. So keep your brush small and come in here, and we're just going to add these hairs on the chin. Just like about like that, and that's going to look good when we're done. We're going to come up here where the whiskers are. And look at all this green right here. We can actually make our brush bigger here. Control, Option, left click, drag to the right. And let's tell Photoshop to analyze all these edges in here. And it's going to do a pretty solid job there. And But none of these whiskers are selected yet either. And we need to do something about that. So let's get the rest of this cleaned up. And same thing with the as with the hairs under the chin. We're going to just have to make this brush pretty small. Uh, let's change the transparency so it's a little bit more obvious once something's become selected. So I still want to be able to see the whiskers because what I'm going to do is just come in and again, just refine edge all the way down the whiskers, just like this. Coming around and again, no shortcut here, guys, other than just take the time to do it right. And get all the whiskers. No, don't try to bust all this out with one huge brush. It won't look very good. We got to go slow and take our time here to get this to look right. Okay, that's looking pretty good. A little bit of a green tint on those whiskers and down here, but we're going to fix that later. Other than that, you guys, we're looking pretty solid. We got these two troublesome spots right there and right there. Let's fix those. Let me show you how I like to fix that. What I'm going to do is switch to the brush tool, keyboard shortcut B. It's this tool on the toolbar. And with the brush tool, you can see I've got a plus and a minus right here. Plus lets me add things back in. You see, when I paint with plus, it adds things. When I paint with minus, it removes things. So I'm going to just show you that. And then I'm going to Command Z to undo what I just did. And I don't like having to come up here to switch back and forth between these two buttons. So by default, it's on plus. And watch what happens when I hold down the option key. See, option, if I'm holding down option, it temporarily switches to minus. And when I let go of option, it goes back to plus. So what I'm going to do is hold down option, and I'm just going to erase this big chunk of extra green there that I don't like. And that obviously doesn't look very good, but at least I got rid of that big chunk of green. Then I'm going to switch back to the refine edge tool, keyboard shortcut R. Make my brush just a touch bigger, and I'm going to just say, take a closer look at this edge. But don't go so far out that includes that big green spot. So there you go. I got the hair back there, but I lost the big ugly green spot. Let's go back and do the same thing here on the chest here. Switch to the brush tool, keyboard shortcut B. Hold down Option to erase. There we go. That gets rid of that. Switch to refine edge. Let go of Option. Switch to refine edge. Press R on your keyboard. And just paint along right there, and that's going to add that back in and make that look a little bit better. So, so far, this is looking pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Now what I want to do is I want to come up here to the top of my screen, and I'm going to switch my view from onion skin to black and white. And what this does is gives me a very stark idea of what's been selected and what has not. Anything that's white is selected. Anything that's black is not. So... I'm just going to grab my brush tool again, keyboard shortcut B, and if there's black on the inside of the tiger, I'm going to paint it, and you can see that's going to turn white. See that? That's nice. So right there, let's get that. Let's get that back to white. And again, I'm just going to kind of scroll through, and like there's a spot that should probably be all white right there. And then if there's any white on the outside of the tiger that should be black, I'm going to hold down Option to make that black again. There we go. That looks pretty solid. So I'm just going to go around again. I'm just holding down space bar to move around while I'm zoomed in here. There's a little black on the inside. Let's paint that white. And that's looking pretty good. Maybe right there. Under the feet can sometimes be tough. So we can come in and whoops, should have been holding down option there. Just to clean that up a little bit. But this looks great. I'm feeling pretty good about this. There's a little spot right there right there and let's zoom out Ooh, there's a little spot right there let's fix that and other than that i think we're pretty good i'm going to change my view back to onion skin and there we go i'm pretty happy about that let me hit a little refine edge right here because i'm just 
picking up a hint of green there. Whoops, that was the brush tool, not the refine edge tool. Command Z to undo, R to select the refine edge tool, and just come along that edge right there. And there we go, that looks a little bit better. Okay, last thing I want to do is come down here and I want to change. Uh, I will always would like to turn on decontaminate colors and see if that helps or hurts my photo. Sometimes it really helps and sometimes it really hurts. Sometimes your photo will look really bad when you turn on decontaminate colors. And you'll know when that happens. You'll know, you'll see it. But I think this looks pretty good. Notice it just took a lot of that hint of green off. Look at this, right? Especially like watch right here. Decontaminate colors off, on, it's just cleaning up that edge, making it look nice. I'm going to do one more little refine edge right there and see if I can. Yep, yep, that looks solid. Okay, very good. I think we're set in here. Let's come down to output settings, right? That's where we found decontaminate colors. And we just need to output our work in here. So we're going to output to a new layer with layer mask and we're going to press OK, and that's going to pop out here to a very well cut out tiger. Of course, super important. Let's save up our work. File, save, pick a good spot for this. If you might see something like this when you first hit file, save, just hit on your computer so we can save it on our computer and not in the cloud. And let's make sure we're saving it in the right spot. We should be here, photog photography, photo one, two, period one, your folder background practice and let's call this tiger uh, cut out because we've cut it out and hit save and hit OK and there you go we've cut it out let's see how would we add this tiger to a new photo so let's say we want to put a new background behind this tiger so I'm gonna go to the internet actually I've already done it let's just download a background that you would like to use for to put this tiger in and then once you've downloaded it let's go into open and in your folder, you should have the background that you've downloaded. I did a New York City street. And now I want to get this tiger into this photo. In the past, we've copied and pasted. And that doesn't work as well once you have a layer mask and things like that. So I'm going to just click on this part of my layer on the layer thumbnail. I'm going to grab my move tool. Keyboard shortcut is V for this tool right here. And you see when I click and drag, I can move my tiger around. And I'm just going to holding down the mouse button the entire time. Don't let go till I tell you to. I'm going to click and drag this dude up. Hold it there until it switches. And then drag it down. Still holding the mouse button down. And then let go. Let me show you that one more time. Move tool. Click and drag up. Hold it here on this tab. Drag it down. Let go. Now this is obviously too big. So let's do a little command T. You don't see anything. That's because you got to zoom out. Look, we're so zoomed in. We can't see the box for command T. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to shrink this dude down. Here's a little tip. Hold Option when you shrink this down, and it will resize all four corners like that for you. And let's zoom in and put this guy on the crosswalk. I'm going to rotate it by putting my cursor outside of the free transform box, just like that right there. I'm going to click and drag to rotate this guy. I'm going to shrink him down even more. Put him right here on the crosswalk. Maybe just a little bit smaller. And do I need to rotate anymore? Maybe just a little bit. And there you go. Press enter or return. And I can move them around a little bit more as needed. And look at that. We just created a composite with a cutout. And obviously there are more things we could do to make this look better. But I'm really happy with the way this looks for what we've done. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to cut out the picture of the teenage boy. But this video has gone on long enough. Make sure you save your work if you need to. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions.